Okay, folks, so I was gonna try and do some parks on the air CW cheating, because I like to do CW and I'm learning how to do CW and I wanna get better at it. And I thought, this thing has a built-in CW decoder. So let's go into the app. I'm running on a dummy load, that's why there's no signals right now, and that'll be important in a minute. Um, go into app, go into modem, and then you've got CW, and then you can set this. Where is it getting that from? Okay, you can set the uh, the key speed up and down. And this, this part I don't understand because I'm really not good enough. If I'm going to need a CW decoder, I'm probably also not going to understand the, the words per minute. If I run this through the computer and I do FL Digi, FL Digi figures out the speed automatically. But I have no idea um, how to figure this out. And I, I'm not 100% sure if my ear is out of tune or if the radio is out of tune. But I think that this is... A little slower, a little faster. I don't even know which direction it is. I think I'm hearing 18 words a minute and I'm decoding at 20 words a minute on screen, but that's probably just a feeling. There's a whole lot of feeling that goes into this that I'm not 100% sure of yet. But I thought let's go in and let's do messages and let's do pre programmed messages. So when you're doing a parks on the air hunt, when you're doing a parks on the air response, somebody's calling CQ, you want to answer them with your call sign. So let's do call sign. And there's no touch screen, so I gotta do it by wheeling around to different letters. K, M, nine, G is my call sign, in case you didn't know. And then you have to press enter in order to, oops, I messed up. So how do we go back and edit that? If I just put G in, Okay. I put the G in, put in too many G's. We press back, enter. Oh, okay, good. Now we can close out of the box and then we can save it. I kind of wish that would wheel around. I know why it doesn't, but it's it's an interesting interface. So you, they say CQ POTA, CQ POTA, CQ POTA their call sign, their park number, whatever, etc. You respond back with KM9G. They respond back acknowledging your call by giving you KM9G from their call, possibly a signal report, etc., etc., etc. So now it's your turn to give them a signal report. So let's give them a signal report. I, I heard what they said when they called me, Roger, Roger, and then I need to put a space in. And this is already getting tiring. Roger, Roger... And then a signal report, because I'm just going to get right into it. You are space R. Okay, this is a pain. Let's go back and grab the keyboard and the mouse and a USB hub, because it's only got one USB port for this. We plug it into the host port because now we're hosting devices and now I've got a keyboard and a mouse. Let me back that out because I've got a keyboard. I can do RR, UR, RST, 5NN, 5NN, WI, WI because I'm in Wisconsin and I send K to indicate that I am done. I press enter. That doesn't do it. Fine. Use the keyboard, enter. Sorry, use the mouse to press the enter key and then hit the X and then hit save. All right, so now I've responded back to them and they're gonna tell me that they got it and 73, at which point I will send them back. Okay, so I'm typing and nothing's showing up on the screen. So I gotta hit the keyboard button first. I can, I can type the mystery text and I can erase the mystery text. RR7373 and then I wanna send dit dit, which indicates that I am done with my signal, but there is no dit dit. So you send EE. -E. Okay, let's press enter on the, the mouse board. Let's press X on the mouse board and let's save. So now I've got my, let me edit this because yeah, it bugs me that it's not uppercase. KM9G, enter, exit, exit. Okay, so now I've got these, huh? keyboard. I can't delete what's already there. Let's delete. 
delete, delete, delete. Keyboard, KM9G, enter, exit, save. I don't know, we'll go back in the video and see if I did that wrong. So there's your, there's your messages. Well, now that I'm here with the messages, I can't, if I click on them, I'm, I'm just editing them. That's not gonna work, so how do I send them? All right, so I look in the manual, we'll put a manual screen up right here. And in the manual, it says to do all of these things and pay close attention to step number two. Step number two is where it says, wrong mouse, where it says, press the corresponding tag. X6100 will start sending the preset text information in the tag in the mode selected by modem until the sending of the information is completed. Okay, fine. So we got to get into modem mode. So I've got, they called CQ. I answered with my call sign. They answered with my call sign and my signal report. I answered with... Roger, Roger, you are 599-599-K to send it back to them. They said that they understood what I said. I said, Roger, Roger, 73-73, dit, dit, and we're done and we're, we're out of there. So there's those, that's the three basic messages that you need to know to send back to a Parks on the Air activation. Let's go into the app and let's go into modem because it says, as long as you're in modem mode and you're in CW mode, you press the message button and... I'm on a dummy load, which is why there's nothing in the waterfall. And just to just to show that one more time, let's go back out to general. Let's go to the FD8 frequency where there's always activity. 7074. And there's nothing there. So that shows that I'm on the dummy load, but you could have taken my word for it, and that would have been fine too. So we go back into app. We go into modem. We're in CW mode. We're in CW mode on the radio. It says press message. Now these switch to messages down here, and I should be able to hit KM9G. Okay, so it lights up and I don't hear anything. All right, let's go back to general. Let's go back to general, let's go into radio setting. Oh, my monitor level is up to 10. Does it go any higher than 10? Oh, well, it goes up to 11. I don't even know how high this goes. Let's make that the spinner, and we'll spin it because spinning's faster. All right, monitor level 100. That, that could be very scary in the future. So we'll go back to app, modem, message, and we'll send the message. I don't hear anything. And you'll notice that the transmit light is, is not lit. Green means on, red means transmitting. Nothing, 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 nothing. And there's nothing in those last two messages, so whatever. Let's see. F1, nope. F2, nope. F3. Let's go on to the microphone. The microphone has numbers on it. Let's try one. Nope, that changes the band. So let's go back to 40 meters, nothing there. And that's interesting. I get a little bit of sound. Oh, because I'm in LSB mode. All right, so we're back into 40 meters. Nothing going on there, CW mode. So what do we do? Let's check to see if it actually is transmitting. So I've got the 705 over here. And let's go back to 70. 50. All right, so I'm on 7050. I'm on 7050. Let's hit message one, and this thing should start receiving CW. Nothing. So there's some promise there, but it would be really nice to be able just to type, you know, like hit the hit the keyboard button and just start typing. Let's see, key. Nope. App. Modem. Like, it would be pretty cool to hit key and then just be able to start typing stuff and be able to type CW. I realize that's really advanced, but it's a computer. It, it can do that thing. And that modem decoding thing, the speed thing, the decoder not working properly, not there's not a lot of radios that do that. So I'm not going to hold it against the radio, but the message function, it, it should message. So I'll be looking for, forward to an update on that in the upcoming firmware, and we will see how that goes. There is a video right over here next to the 705, above the 705, that I think you will find interesting. Thanks for being awesome.